what is google collab and collab notebook what is google collab now that we know the importance of python in data science let's try to understand the tools that we need to use to run python for data science task one of the popular tool kits that data scientists use to run their python script is an interactive notebook there are various ways in which you can set up an interactive notebook in this module we will learn one of them that is how to set up and use google collab what are interactive notebooks we are humans and always need user friendly applications notebooks are typically used by data scientists for quick exploration tasks and easy to use interactive data science environment Google Collab is a online environment to run python code. Google Collab is a simplest way to set up an interactive notebook environment to perform your data science task. The environment offers you up to 12 GB RAM, GPU, etc for free and 100 GB of storage. You don't need to worry about installing a bulky python application on your laptop or computer link to access global collab now we will open google collab and run our python code so when you click on the link it will open google collab now you have to click on new notebook this will create a interactive notebook environment inside google collab so you have cell here what we will do we will just print hello world so which is a statement which will be displayed on the user screen print hello world to run this cell we can click on this button and the output will be displayed below the cell for the first execution it will take some time to give the output in the next execution your output will be displayed uh, within fractions of seconds so now if you want a text cell you can insert a text cell if you want a code cell you can insert a code cell for example we are inserting a text cell and we are writing heading and then pressing control enter shift enter this will be displayed now we are adding two variables first a we are storing a value 10 we are creating a second variable b which is storing 20 and we are storing the result of addition of a plus b in c so a plus b result is stored in c now we will print the value of c on the user screen so this the output of this cell should be 30 so click on the cell press shift enter to run the cell and below the cell you can see the output 